Well, Northamptonshire police take alcohol-related incidents very seriously, and Chief Inspector Dave Spence is here to tell us what about a pioneering project that you're running here, Dave. Yeah, we're running a six-month pilot with some alcohol tags. Uh, you, you wear them on the ankle. Uh, they're there 24-7. Uh, every half an hour it will analyse the sweat from the person wearing it. From that it will detect how much alcohol is in the system. That gets transmitted back to a computer that logs all this and then we can see if people are complying with what they've agreed, which is to be sober. OK, well, Lisa is our volunteer here. She's wearing it for us today. What's it feel like at the moment, Lisa? It does feel a bit unusual. Mm. Yeah, is that so strange? Is it pretty heavy? I mean, what's it like for somebody who would be wearing it? Uh, well, I wore one for 10 days. Um, it, it is quite light. It's about five ounces. Um, the first day, first 36 hours, it can feel a little bit different. You're not used to wearing things on your, your leg. Uh, but once you get through that, you hardly notice it's there. OK, well, who would end up wearing one of these tags? Uh, this pilot, we're targeting your binge drinker, the person that would drink too much. That might then cause them to get involved in disorder, minor assault, scuffles. And we'd be looking at using it as what we call a conditional caution. So that's a caution with a condition that can keep them out of the court system. Uh, and the condition would be to wear this for four weeks uh, and not to drink. Well, you said you have worn one. That was a bit of an experiment, wasn't it? Tell us about that, how it went. What was your experience? Uh, I'd say wearing it was, was quite comfortable. You hardly noticed it after the first day. Um, I think on the graphs that you, you can see, um, the black line is my alcohol consumption. So the first peak, I uh, had three pints with a meal. Uh, the second one is three glasses of wine that were home poured, so they're not proper measures. Uh, the blue line, that's what we call the tamper line. So I did try and um, break or disrupt the, the, uh, the tag. Uh, and you can see that with a very high peak where I put some silver foil between my leg and the tag. Uh, the red line measures the temperature around the tag. The purpose of that is if someone cuts it and removes it, that temperature will change dramatically because it hasn't got body heat, so you'd know they've removed it. OK, so you analysed all that and put those into that uh, graph. But if somebody was wearing it for real, then what would you be doing working with that person? What would be involved if they were drinking? If, if someone was drinking with the graph that I produced, uh, if it was just the first peak on its own, the one drinking episode, we'd speak to them, we'd give them advice, advise them of what they'd agreed to and the consequences. Uh, if it was like the whole graph, I think we'd bring them in. They weren't taking it seriously, they didn't want to comply, and we'd charge them with the offence they originally arrested for, sent to the court. OK, Dave, thanks very much, and good luck with that project.